Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can convert audio to MIDI inside Rapid Composer because it is possible. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do follow the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. So, we are inside a MacBook and Air M1 chip and we are going to click up here and we are going to select new composition. And we are going to select no because we don't want to save the previous one. Okay, so we select this track which gets created by default, stereo ground, right click and then we select remove track. If you don't see remove track, it's because you are in this view. Click on the cogs and select remove track or click or hit the delete button. Okay, so we don't have any tracks now um, selected. So if you click on the plus sign here, it will create again another MIDI track. That's not what we want, so remove track. But if you right click on this area, it gives you the option to add an instrument track, an audio track, or a folder track. So let's choose an audio track. Next, if you right click here, it gives you this option to import audio file and the position or remove all phrases in the audio or select all phrases in the audio. So if we right click here, it gives you a different option, remove the track, duplicate the track, import audio, which is what we want. So select import audio and we're going to simply uh, bring in this simple note AF file which I already prepared. So this is what it sounds like. So nice, simple track with some notes because of course um, audio to MIDI works, but it works better if you have a melody. First of all, um, test it on a simple part of the file that you want to convert because there is no preview. Right click on, on the uh, waveform and then what you can see, you have an option here which says convert selected audio to MIDI. It doesn't give you a preview option, so it's always better to start with a short file or part of the file that you want to convert, get the options right, and then apply it to a longer file. Otherwise, you find that you have to wait for quite a bit and it gives you the result you don't want and you spend much more time. Okay, so just remember that because is um, is is easier um, to uh, determine first uh, the configuration settings. Okay, um, so no preview. Additionally, don't go with something really complicated as an audio file because it will not work. So with a melody, in this case, a simple instrument, it works really well. If you were to put in, for example, in my experience, uh, I don't know, a sophisticated drum track it won't work there. All right, so just bear that in mind. So right click, select, convert, selected audio to MIDI. So you have a number of options here. The first one is called note segmentation, right? So um, that is, as the tooltip says there, how easily a note should be split into two. You can see it says split to the left hand side and uh, merge to the right hand side. At the moment it's set to 60%, okay? Then there is a model confidence, right? Which is the confidence required to create a note. And if you go higher, you will increase that. It will be fewer notes. You will see they will merge together. Um, okay, and it will not detect, for example, notes which are quieter, while the opposite may be where there is uh, different, uh, small differences in pitches might create notes that you might not want. Then you have a selection here for the minimal note duration. So if you go lower, you have more notes, shorter notes. Then if you want the result to go into a new track, after you created a new track, you have different option. And then if you want to clear the target track, Yes or no. So put it on here on 54% uh, in terms of note segmentation. Leave that for now 30%. Um, within 200, 300 milliseconds works, create a new track. At the moment, we are not going to clear the target track because we have not created. So press OK. Now, let's close this window here. And it has created, as you can see, a new track. 
Now, um, let's mute the audio track here. Let's not click the right button there and let's click play. Okay. So not really what we were expecting, right? So right click here, select again, convert uh, selected audio to MIDI. Okay. And now let's start to change a few things. First of all, we want to clear the target track. Yes. We want to go to the audio MIDI track, which is this one. It's called audio to MIDI. And we don't want to create a new track. Okay. So we leave the minimum note duration as it is. And um, now we start to play a little bit with uh, um, the settings here. Okay. So lower the, that um, uh, model confidence and press OK. Now you can see better notes now that are produced. Right, it's almost there. Yes, missed this note here. Okay, then a note there, right? So right click up here, convert selected audio to MIDI. Right, so leave that to just above 50%, but you can change that, of course, but you find that the, the higher you go then, it will start to merge some of the notes. That's not what you want. Lower that a little bit, uh, right? Don't go too much lower than 15%, otherwise you will start to create a lot of different notes that you might not want, right? So play. There's still a note missing, so repeat this one. And uh, let's make the duration of the note shorter, right? And press OK. Right, you see now that he has detected that note there. Now let's uh, mute these and unmute the original. Okay, now let's listen together. Perfect. So that is how we converted audio to MIDI. Right, experiment with this. Right, right click, change the different settings here. Let me show you as I go up on note segmentation, we go around 60 and we uh, again convert it. You can see. This note is longer, um, right? So you can start to see the notes are becoming slightly longer. Let's uh, go even further up to around 71%. Uh, Press OK. Now you can see this note very much longer. Still OK here, right? So repeat the process again. Right, let's go even higher, around 82%. So convert there. So it gives you an idea, it makes the note a little bit longer in terms of conversion. But a lot depends on how you set these other parameters as well. Now, let me show you what also happens if I go tend to go around and closer to the 10% here on the model confidence. So far, look what has happened. Now, if, you, if I mute this one and I play this new track, You notice there are some artifacts here, right? Which, uh, so double click on it and you go to this view. You can select those notes here and um, delete them, right? And um, and then what you do, click here, apply changes to uh, the phrase which has been selected. You can see you have a better view now, right? Again, let's repeat the process and we go a little bit lower, closer to, uh, again, 10%. Uh, so let's see. All right, there you are. You can see a lot of other artifacts appearing, perhaps where notes are not really there, right? So just bear that in mind. I wouldn't go as low as that. I would probably keep myself around that number there, right? And... Um, Oops, and let's close. There you are. You have a much better uh, conversion, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, also the other option to remember is this minimum note duration. Again, I showed you what happened if you go much higher, like 500, look what happens. There you are. So um, it is missing a lot of notes because uh, the minimum duration is set too high. So let me show you again if you go much lower here, 107 millisecond. AN is not too bad because uh, it will fit properly anyway with the note duration which is up here. So remember if the note duration is too high it will start to merge and remove notes because you set it to the tact midi notes, uh, sorry notes which are uh, of a minimal duration too large effectively, right? So again just uh, readjust that so just below 300 something like that and press OK, right? And uh, let me, oops, do that uh, again. We adjust these to around 54% and this one to 14, press OK. And there you are, you still have some artifacts, adjust it again. So um, let's go a little bit higher there, press OK, right? And there you are, so there's a bit of missing notes there. So you get a feeling of how this now works, right? So just to keep adjusting as you see fit, okay? Right, and again, you can see, depending on the model, what you choose, you have different type of results. Okay, I hope all of this makes sense. It's not the, uh, always the most intuitive um, of... Um, of the process, right? So you just sometimes have to keep going at it and see how uh, it reacts and how it works as, um, as as a model, right? So just to remember that. And uh, but as you keep trying, eventually you get uh, the result that um, uh, that you're looking for, right? So there you are and then perhaps uh, a little bit tighter there like so and there you go you have the notes there which is appearing so this is the one you probably want okay i'm going to stop here i hope you found the tutorial useful and as always see you next time bye